Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support. Um, just being able to reciprocate, you know, the things that we're all going through and knowing it, you know, it can be a hard moment, but it's just like if you take it step by step and you know, you'll truly heal from the things that's meant to break you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe and even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if you're trying to reply towards the you know, uh, positive feedback towards the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or a friend, or, you know, even a fellow empath that are really going through some dark times right now and need confirmation and validation towards their life path, you know, please go ahead and, you know, share it while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share in your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support is so greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today I'm listening to um, miracles start to happen when you when you listen to this music ASMR nature sounds music for manifestation and I will post that link in the description box below and today uh, my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas when spirit when Spiritual awakenings can change your life in the po in in the positive ways. It is, you know, even though we've gone through so many situations and it's like, you know, it just depends on what happened to you um, going through your spiritual awakening. Like with mine, you know, it was like losing my father. And it was just like, you know, I go through that time to time. You know, that's anybody who loses a parent, you know, and it's just like, it, it was just like everything that came about. But it's just like when I've been able to put my videos out, being able to open myself up, letting people know, you know, what I went through, what I'm conquering, what I'm dealing with, you know, the, the anger I'm feeling, being able to release all these things, knowing there was a purpose behind all that. You know, I had to be able to, you know, endure the situation so God can lead me, God, universe, creator, let lead me to making videos. You know, doing it from, you know, making personal diaries for myself and then saying, okay, I want to go ahead and uh, start making YouTube videos. And making YouTube videos is trying to go out there and look for my mom. And then looking for my mom and end up opening up all these Pandora boxes about my spiritual gifts that I was not really aware of, which was truly a blessing. And it's like when I'm hearing from y'all, y'all, you don't know, y'all be pulling on my heartstrings because it gives my pain and my situation beautiful purpose it gives it a beautiful purpose because it's just the fact it's going through some hard situations that has been placed in your life and you're trying to get a peace of mind some understanding on why you had to go through these things the heartfelt trauma that has been placed in your life that has been able to tear you down in so many ways and being able that person is like i shall not be moved you know being able to heal from those things and it really makes you look back, you know, and it's like when people are starting to tell me that, y'all don't know, it's like from Gabriel to Lost Puppy, y'all are like my my, my, my star pupils, because I hear from y'all every day, and I love each and everybody, each and every one of y'all, because y'all have, you know, impacted my life on a certain level, but it's just like when I can see somebody who has truly gone through some situations and just feel like, you know, this is all I got left in me, this is, you know, I'm not, you know, making it feel like you will never be able to find that real true place of happiness in your life, whether or not if it's in a relationship or just with yourself and being able to see them to have came so long and hard I mean it's just like it's a beautiful thing to me it's like when I'm hearing them say you know they got love in their heart or you know they can look back on their life and feel the things that are changing and I really feel that that's where strength comes from 
when you can recognize the triggers that puts you in that dark place you can recognize the trauma the traumatic memories that keep popping up and you know when it has to do with certain people that you know is, it could have been with your family or with somebody on the outside that it has really messed you up in so many different directions and some people don't realize and some people just don't care you know the way they have impacted somebody life in a traumatic way where they have done things to have people look at life differently and that's a sad situation but you never know what happened with those folks just for them to be able to put something like that on somebody because i really feel like somebody in the right state of mind with a heart and a conscience would not ever do that you know people make mistakes true that you know we all make mistakes you know there's sometimes we done said things that you know can hurt somebody's feelings that's why i have to be very mindful on how I put things out you know I never want to trigger anybody I never want to hurt nobody's feelings but if you know if you come at me the wrong way or you trying to do something to me either I just ignore you delete whatever comment it is or don't even pay you any mind but there's sometimes you know if you back me up into a corner I will also bring your attention just feel like you know whatever mood I'm in that time but it's a blessing to be able to you know help people in so many different ways you know being able to know yes I went through spiritual awakenings yes going through these motions is not an easy road to go through you know being able to deal with some kind of memories and some I'm still dealing with I'm not even gonna lie to y'all I keep it real you know there are certain memories that come up and it still triggers me but I have to allow myself to know my my blessings are a lot bigger than the problems that keeps coming up like vomit you know, and I know that's the most disgusting way to put it, but that, you know, when it, it, trauma does not taste good. It don't. Traumatic, sad, angry memories that trigger off is never good. It's never healthy. But being able to know that you can get past this, you can heal from everything that has been sent your way, everything that's been done to you, you are bigger than what has been, you know, what you've been violated from. And that's a blessing. And it's just like I hear so many comments, you know, people are like, thank you, Rosalind, your videos really help. Because like when I first started this, I didn't think I was capable of making that impact on somebody's life. It's like, are these videos really helping people? I really don't know. Even though it was like this when I first started, you know, do I really have that that strength enough to open my heart up to really help somebody going the long way? I'm like, what is my situation going to help somebody else with? And I didn't realize it was going to be this big of an impact to me. You know, even though it's like a thousand people, it might not seem much, but that's a lot. You know, that's a lot. A lot of people don't even, you know, drop lines that are like, these videos are really helping them. And I feel that energy. There's time, and I'm like, it's okay. You know, you don't have to drop a comment. I can still feel your energy. And, you know, some people are comfortable with open up and up, opening up to me, which is truly a blessing. You know, people will come to me like, Rosalind, you know, I can't turn to anybody else, you know, because I don't judge anybody. You know, if I know you're wrong and you know you're wrong, I'm going to tell you. I keep it 100. I, You know, I, I'm not going to BS around. I'm not going to do anything to hurt your feelings. But don't think I'm going to sugarcoat anything for you either. You know, because I can't sugarcoat things for myself. I'm just like, you can't. There's sometimes you, <laughs> you can't sit up here and put icing on the cake for it when you know that mess is a rock. You know, there's, there's so, no cushion in that. So, but just being able to know that you know things have been sent your way and then you're trying your hardest and you go to universe like i'm really trying i know what you know the 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 things you're trying to tell me i'm doing this every day you working on yourself every day and you'll just be surprised if you can look at from square one to day one to where you are now and see how many changes how many milestones you have gotten over how many things that you know certain things might come up as a trigger and you're just like you allow it to pass and say okay this is just a memory that's trying to be set free you know because there's a lot of times you know ego doesn't realize when it's bringing things up like you know when you're going through that through that process knowing blessings are coming your way you're going to another state you know you're going through another stage of consciousness but being able to say okay this memory it has to go <laughs> you know it's coming up because it's trying to release itself you can't try you have to be able to detach yourself your emotions from that memory and being able to say okay this has happened to me but this pain has taught me a lot is brought me a long way you have to really be able to tell you know i have to tell myself that all the time so it's like nobody's perfect you know just because i'm making these videos people don't think i know everything i don't you know i'm not acting like i do i'm just going for it going with the flow 
being able to be honest and open about, yes, I have been through hell and high water. I won't wish this on my worst enemy like I was telling my daughter today. I said, I would never, I hope you never get even an inch of ever feeling like I've ever felt the, the things has been brought on me, you know, because it's just like my, my birthday is coming along. And even though it's a blessing to be able to see another year and I know I've came a long way, it's still like a, a you know, it's like a eyesore to me because it's like it brings up everything that somebody has placed on my life just for me being here just for who I'm related to you know who I emulate you know that's a hard feeling to go by like dang you know who is not my fault you're making you're punishing me for something that's not my fault and you know even though it, it just brings up a lot of things you know not my, my mom's out here you know biological mom you know we our our connection severed you know it's just like you know I just try to look at the good things like God has blessed me to see another year because there's a lot of people fighting battles that are going through so many illnesses is that wish they had the situation I was in because you know they're fighting to breathe they're fighting to stay alive so I try to think about situations like that because it can be a lot worse but it's just like it still has that little you know bad taste in the back of my mouth like dag you know I'm just really ready to get through this and you know it's just like going through all that you know it's really it is really took me through a whirlwind I, I've been through an emotional roller coaster you know these shifts that we have been currently experiencing back to back to back if it's not something with the spring equinox or the new moon or the sun moon or the snow moon or the rain moon or the pink moon the blue moon it's really took us through some more a lot of shifts you know it's really been opening up things that we choose to suppress or we choose to ignore that they're really making us fakes and it's like when is enough going to be enough you can't keep you know, pushing back something that you don't feel like dealing with. You have to be able to deal with it when it comes up. Being able to nip that in the bud, saying, hey, you know what? This has happened a long time ago. I don't have these people in my life anymore. You know, they can't no longer hurt me because, I, you know, I see what they've done. You know, when you're not naive to it anymore, because I really felt like the things that was occurring in my life for my family, even though I've done some things, I'm not going to lie, you know, because I pop off at the mouth real quick. I'll cuss them out, you know, even though that's disrespectful, but it's just the fact is when you put somebody in a position like that, how can I respect you? You know, I can't respect anybody that's like that. When you, you your milestone, your goal is how you're going to try to sit up here and poke poking pride on me to make me look bad in front of folks, you know, because I have, you know, those folks in my, well, I don't even want to call them family, but the people in my past, you know, anytime I would get around them, they would try to trigger things to make it look like, you know, I, I was hating on somebody, you know, they would do things like, oh, you know, when your birthday comes, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, and then my stepmom's birthday is like two or three weeks after mine, and then all of a sudden my, you know, my adopted father was up there and say, oh, you can take the credit card and buy anything you want, and I'm like, really? <laughs> you really just did that even though you just told me you were broke and then you tell this heifer she can sit up here and use the card I'm like oh okay whatever you know I said I ain't got time for this and I'll be ready to storm off and they were like oh see I told you she acts spoiled and I'm like spoiled people are the ones that get anything they want I never got anything from y'all like that and if I do it's always had some you know some kind of claws attached to it so it's just a lot of things I had to deal with that you know I'm just like okay um you can't no longer trigger me on stuff like that no more. You know, I can look at it now. It's like, yeah, that did happen. But guess what? You ain't even got to deal with them folks anymore. And that, you know, and that makes me happy that because I don't have to deal with them anymore. And that's a blessing to be able to get through. So knowing, you know, if you really feel like things have not been able to make a dent in the program, you really have to start looking back at day one when you first started your, your spiritual awakening and look at it, your, your, your journey since that time. You know, if, it, if you just start and then you would understand, you know, I got a while to go. But if you've been doing this for a while, allow yourself to really look at it for what it's worth and say, hey, you don't came a long ass way. <laughs> so be proud of yourself. Being able to know you have jumped over many milestones, you have had and conquered a lot of things that you may not have been able to conquer if you didn't really see the purpose behind a situation. If you can no longer give that that memory power and let it set free. So you can be able to deserve the happiness in life. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. And be responsible for everything you do. I'm not going to give any shout outs because this video is almost 15 minutes long. So it might take about two days just to get out. So I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.